How would you like to invest in the stock market passively yet earn a high dividend income every single month? This is the focus of today's video. We're going to be talking about five quality exchange traded funds that allow you to do just that, invest in the stock market passively and earn a quality dividend uh, ranging between four to eight percent annual dividend distribution. Let's get into it. All right, the very first choice is Super Dividend ETF with ticker symbol SDIV. Super Dividend ETF does pay a monthly distribution and in fact it has been doing so over the past 10 years plus. It does have an expense ratio of 0.59%, which means if you invest $10,000 in this ETF, you'll be paying a fee of $59 in one year. SDIV has 101 holdings underneath that. If you look at the distribution, or roughly we call it that dividend here, the annual yield for the past 12 months has been hovering around 8.9%, 8.89% to be exact. And as indicated, it does pay its dividend broken down every month. Let's take a look at the price uh, for this ETF. The last trading price for that was at $12.30. And in terms of the performance of this ETF, if you look at it, the past one year, the performance was 3.76%. Not the highest return per se, but here, keep in mind, you're uh, counting in more so on that reliable dividend income that you're gaining every month. It's more so focused on the uh, cash flow and the income. Three years annualized return is negative 2.55%. Five-year annualized return is 2.49% negative, and 10-year annualized return is 2.41% positive. If you look at cumulative return, uh, the cumulative return for this ETF since its inception is at 10.07%. In the past one month, was at 2.40%. Let's take a look at the top holdings for this ETF. On top of our list, we have China Power International, followed by uh, NOS SGPS, Gladstone commercial, there is a lot of geographical diversification. If you look at the country breakdown, while still 30% of the exposure is to US, you get 15% exposure to China, 13% exposure to Hong Kong, 7% to Russia, 6% to Britain, and the other countries that is listed here. Looking at the sector breakdown, the highest exposure is to financial sectors with close to 29%, followed by real estate and energy sector. Lastly, if we look at the return on equity for this ETF, it is at 12.30%. With this out of the way, let us take a look at our second pick. And the second pick is with Invesco. It is Invesco KBW High Dividend Yield Financial ETF. As the name suggests, your exposure is mainly to the financial sector. It is traded with the ticker symbol KBWD in the US dollars. The last trading price for that was $20.61. Looking at the distribution yield for the 12 months, it is at 7.22%, which is quite remarkable. Again, this is the dividend paid, paid to you on a monthly basis. Looking at the fees for this ETF is slightly higher. Uh, the total expense ratio for this ETF is at 1.24%. Uh, it can be considered to be quite high uh, compared to many other ETFs. For example, what that means is that if you invest $10,000 into this ETF, you're paying $124 fee overall in the span of one year. That's definitely a little bit of a red flag. If you are concerned uh, with the high fee, you might consider other ETFs that we will be talking about in this uh, video. Let us take a look at the past performance of this ETF. The one year return was at 32.18%. The three year annuals return was at 10.38%. Five year annuals return was at uh, 6.8%. 46% uh, and 10 year annuals return was at 8.48% and the return annualized since inception was at 7.93% which is quite decent. Moving on our third pick for high quality monthly dividend paying ETF is with iShares, iShares preferred and income securities ETF with ticker symbol PFF. The last trading price for that was at $38.68 USD. If you look at the return the one year return uh, was at 7.09%, three year annual return was at 10.15%, and 
annualized return for the past five years was at 6.63% and annualized return in the past 10 years was at 6.89%. In terms of the distribution and what that yield is, roughly around 4.5% for PFF. Some other key pieces, as we talked about the monthly payments of distributions, and the other piece that I want to bring to your attention is around the fee. That's definitely something you want to take a look at. The expense ratio here is a little bit lower at 0.46%. Definitely still higher than many other more of an index ETFs, whereby you can find as low as sometimes 0.05% of fee. Here, uh, we're talking about almost 10 times higher in terms of fee. Uh, nonetheless, the focus here is more uh, on the companies that do pay um, higher dividends and your guaranteeing kind of you know in one way or another a much higher distribution on a monthly basis coming your way that's why a little more of active role uh, for the fund well let us move on to the next and our fourth pick this one is Invesco S&P 500 high dividend low volatility ETF the ticker symbol SPHD it was last traded for the price of $45.67 and if you look at the 12 month distribution rate it is at 3.42%. Looking at a number of other key pieces of information, we're gonna take a look at the fee. Uh, the fee for this ETF, the total expense ratio is at 0.30%. You'd notice the one year return is at 25.26%. Three year annuals return is at 10.96%. Five year annuals return is at 7.63%. And the fund has not been incepted as long as 10 years, that's why we don't have an annualized 10 year return. But the overall return since inception is at 11.04% annualized. With that out of the way, we're gonna go on to our fifth and final pick. In this one, particularly we picked up one monthly dividend pair that is in Canadian dollars for those of our investors and viewers who are in Canada. This is ZDB or BMO Canadian Dividend ETF. This ETF has been designed to provide exposure to a yield weighted portfolio of Canadian dividend paying uh, stocks. And if you look at the details, the last trading price for the, that was at $20.13. It does have annualized distribution yield of 3.97% and a management expense ratio of 0.39%, which means if you invest $10,000, your fee in one year would be $39. It has a medium risk rating and it does pay its distribution on a monthly basis. Let's take a look at some of the holdings here, what the holdings specifically are uh, for ZDV. The top holdings for ZDV include Bank of Nova Scotia, Toronto Dominion Bank, Royal Bank of Canada, BCE, Enbridge, TELUS, Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, Manual Life Financial, Canadian Nat National Railway, and Bank of Montreal. These are the top holdings for ZDV. Overall, it has 51 uh, holdings uh, under, underneath that. A majority of them are actually invested to stocks with most like exposure to cash and cash equivalents. If you look at the past price uh, performance, you'd notice that for ZDV, the one year return was at 28.59%. Uh, Two year annual return was at 11.49%. Three year annual return was at 15.06%. Five year annual return was at 7.94%. 10 year annual return was at 7.47%. And annual return since its inception is at 7.70%, which is quite decent and remarkable for a high dividend paying uh, ETF that does pay its dividends on a distribu distribution on actually on a monthly basis. Let me know, are you invested in any of these ETFs? I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts about monthly paying ETFs? Uh, do you prefer them uh, versus the other type of exchange traded funds uh, that pay perhaps quarterly or annual uh, distributions? I would love to hear from you. I hope you found this video beneficial and gained something of value from it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from the video as well. We would love to have you on board and join our channel here on Momentum. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos about investing, whether it's investing in the stock market, crypto or real estate, as well as ways to reach financial freedom. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.